Hey guys, how are you? Amber here. Okay, this one's been on my mind a little bit and I've been taking notes on some of my ideas that have come to my mind in the last two, three, four days that I haven't committed to getting to you guys on live. It is 12.30 and I got four and a half hours of sleep last night and I'm here because uh, this one is on my mind. Okay, so I'm gonna call this something like, when you think there's gonna be an objection in the room, always build it into your presentation. Okay, so. I'm gonna talk about a few different avenues. So first of all, you guys, I learned this years ago when I started presenting to a room, and it might be five people, 10 people, 20 people, right? But if you feel that there's gonna be a particular objection, then just build it into your presentation, right? So that at the end of the presentation, it wasn't built in, and basically their questions were answered or their objections weren't relieved, right? And they leave not necessarily being inspired to take an action. So in the business that we're in, time and money, are two objections, probably in any business you guys are in, but people think that they don't have enough time to start a business or they don't have enough money to start a business, okay? So those are the two objections that we always build into like our info sessions, right? And so you might say something like, you guys, when I started working, or when I started this business on my own, I was an engineer and I was working 70 hour work weeks and I was like, oh my gosh, how am I ever gonna find the time to start a business when I'm already working 70 hours a week as an engineer? So that's all I had to say. It was like those one or two sentences. But right away, you guys, I'm building rapport with anybody potentially in the audience that um, feels like they don't have time. No, they're true statements, right? So there's no need to falsify. They are true statements. All right, now, when it comes to money, right? So depending on how much money people have to spend and what this is for, is this like to start a business? Is this to like go shopping, right? Is this to you know, whatever this is, like, is it really a need or a want? So that's a whole separate topic, right? So what is it the money is actually for? Now, the business that um, I'm in, mean, it doesn't cost a lot of money to start up the business, but it costs a little bit, right? So I guess it depends on what y'all think is a lot. It's certainly not like a franchise, right? You don't need a million dollars of net worth, but you also just can't get started for 25 bucks, right? There's no value in starting a business. Um, that could potentially earn you, you know, career level income, probably for $25. All right, so when people thought that maybe they needed to have large sums of money to start the business, again, we would build that in. So the, the story that we would say is, um, you know, they would be standing in one of our locations. And I would say, you guys, I started this business with two other partners and we started it for $6,000. So each one of us invested $2,000 and we were cash flowing within 90 days and within six months we were profiting. And then we'll say something like, so what other business do you guys know that cash flows in 90 days and starts to profit in six months? So again, the whole purpose of that is build rapport, right? So people are kind of like, it's like, oh gosh, if, if they could do that, I could do that. Now, in most situations in life, you guys, you would want people to feel that way possibly about you. Like, that is how you build relationships. If you constantly uh, look to somebody like, you're like, oh my gosh, they're so amazing, they're so amazing, you put people up on this big pedestal, right, then it's not likely that you wanna hang out with them because you're a little bit like, you know, it's like hanging out with whoever is your like idol, like living idol, right, and to like, you know, sit down and have coffee and tea with your living idol is, you know, maybe a little bit like, causes a little bit of nervousness. So if I want people to join the business or if I wanna build rapport with people, I want them to think that I'm actually touchable, right? Or that I'm, um, you know, I'm like them. Like, oh, she works 70 hours a week, oh, me too. Oh, she invested $2,000, I can invest $2,000. So for the most part, you guys, you just, that's the, that's the idea of building rapport, that's the idea of getting people on board with you, that's how you, you know, build in objections so that people can go, oh, okay, well, I, I got it, I kinda understand. Now, I'm gonna, this could be, you guys, this could be for, I'm talking about business. It also could be for mentoring. You guys, I do a lot of mentoring in our business. So I feel like if somebody is going to come with an objection, like right now, I've got a few promotions going on, right? And I've got some people, I'm like, ah, oh, we're yet for the promotion, right? And I don't say that, but they know that I'm thinking. So right away, as if I'm talking to them, I just build it in, right? And they're like, ah, Amber, I know. I'm like, ah, I know you know, okay? So just like, the whole thing is like, don't avoid. Step in and don't avoid. We are so, we so avoid you guys in this world and we just don't want to like take the step and make the initiative, right? So um, now the last thing is, which, oh my gosh, I only have one child. He is four. For all of you guys that have multiple children with years of experience, I am inexperienced here. 
I can see though, uh, at three and four years old, how this is probably going to come into play. Um, I, I listened to and have attended, you know, Tony Robbins events. And when I watch him work with people, he's so good. He just like pays attention to people. He listens and he goes, I understand. I understand, right? And I say that to Augie a lot. I'm like, I just, I'm just quiet and I'm present with him. I'm like, Augs, I, I understand, I understand. Now it doesn't mean, I, I understand, doesn't mean I agree with you. Actually 99% of the time I don't, right? But I might say that in mentoring too, like, I understand. It's difficult, it's difficult for you. I understand that, it's difficult for you, yes. Now it doesn't, I'm not buying the story, right? But I understand why they might believe the way that they believe. Now let me wrap up this whole section with, I actually don't wanna hang out with everybody. <laughs> so as I'm talking about building rapport with people, you guys, if you're not able to build rapport with someone, it's actually okay. Right? You don't need to build rapport with everyone. You weren't born on this planet to actually be friends with all 8 billion people on the planet. We all resonate at different frequencies and that's why you likely don't still hang out with every junior high, high school, and college friend, right? Because you might resonate today at a different frequency that you did back then, right? Or it's why you possibly, maybe some of you did, but it's why you possibly maybe didn't marry every human that you dated, right? It's because you might vibrate at a different frequency. So this is one thing that I used to always say, and uh, I don't, do this training much anymore but when we were in a different build mode and I was doing this training a lot I would stand in front of the room and I would say you guys I am not here to win a popularity contest so if you listen to me for the last 45 minutes and you're like oh my gosh I do not want to hang out with that girl there's actually nothing about that girl that I enjoy you know what you probably shouldn't join our business because you're gonna have to live with me for the next 30 40 50 years of my life so it's probably not a good idea that you join the business no if you think you know okay I could probably hang out with her or I could probably be mentored by her and her team right then maybe it's a good fit for you but the reason why you say that you guys is right right away it just takes the pressure off people now I can't exactly say that to Augie say Aug, you know if you want to choose different parents and you want to change your mind and you want to go you know back to the field and you want to change your mind and then come back down to different parents go ahead you know like doesn't really work that way with your children but in the business you guys or friends right or people that you hang out with or work acquaintances now I'm clear like you can't get rid of your parents and you probably can't get rid of your boss today but you can get rid of that one right um, you can pick and choose and so the idea is you don't need to be friends with everyone. You actually don't wanna be friends with everybody because that means you're gonna hang out with people that actually don't vibrate at the same frequency as you and therefore they're gonna have different consciousness than you. This is why the term like attracts like, okay? So you build in objections on purpose and if you build in an objection and somebody still like mm, 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 pushes the button and makes another objection and tries to get you and makes another objection, you're not my kind, it's okay, peace out, okay? I'll just stick with my kind. Okay, so just tap into that for a little bit and know it's okay to not be everybody's friend.